What a nice place. I mean, really nice. This is really nice. I mean, the way everything just goes together, you know, the floor and the walls and the ceiling. I'm glad you like it. Like it, huh? Yeah, I, I do. It's, uh... Did you coordinate uh, this yourself? Coordinate? Oh, yeah, that's what they call it. Levitt's, that's the uh, furniture store. See, this would be called the coordinated look. The, that look is where your colors and your fabrics formed. Oh, my. Oh, my God, those drapes. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, see, I love that. Love that. Love it. And, oh, oh, that plaid. You see that plaid? That, it's like that, it's like a striped plaid look. It's so, um, so... Well, all right, Mrs. Fetters, but I only have a moment. All right, then what, what, what exactly is wrong with uh, my face? Oh, let me count the ways. Your skin is dry and undernourished. You, uh, aren't, you, you aren't highlighting your eyes, which are probably your best feature. <laughs> there should be some shadow here, a little Where? blush there. Some lip gloss might help. And you should get yourself an overnight moisturizer. Well, what will you do? I don't know. Have you got any suggestions? Well... Uh... Oh, do you look ugly. Your father looks disgusting right now. And Tom, you should see yourself. I mean, you look repulsive. <laughs> you look terrible. Okay, I, uh... I gotta run. Bye. All right. Frankly, if you ask me... Uh, nobody I... asks you, uh, honey. Tom has become a very serious person since the union election. With a personality like yours? What personality? Gay. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'm, I don't quite remember what it is that he said. Did he tell you we were gay? That was it. Yeah. Well, it's true. We're not brothers. We've been living together for years. Howard finds it difficult to admit people being the way they are. In fact, uh, he's pretty upset because he thinks you know. Really? Well, I, I wouldn't, uh, I mean, I, I would never... I guess what I'm trying to say is, Mary, I hope you won't make a big deal out of this. I mean, uh, we've been hassled before, and things can get kind of unpleasant sometimes, you know? Ed, to me, people are people. I mean, I don't care if they're fat, if they're bald, if they're old, if they're bald. I mean, people are people. Does Tom know about this? Oh, well, I can't understand why you're so depressed. Well, you're Mary Hartman. Me? Oh, no. Mary Hartman? No. Oh, I thought so. You are a snob. I'm not a snob. I'm a certified lunatic. It's very <laughs> sweet of you, Mary. You know, you're a wonderful person, and I feel very close to you, which is something I don't feel for most women. It's only a weekend pass. You make me feel special. You are special, Mary Hartman. Very special. Could I get a weekend pass, too? No, you haven't been here that long. 
If I don't get a weekend pass, I really will go crazy. Well, so you know, period. Oh, yes. Period. Particularly. Is that the uh, kid you were talking about? Isn't he the sweetest thing you ever saw? You know, Loretta, um, the people who make end dust really ought to make a new spray called End Trouble. Because that's all you're going to have if you get mixed up with that cute little person who is not a kid. And you're not a kid. And Charlie is very bold. A chocolate cow? Not me. No, not I. I don't think so. I don't think so. Thanks, so. though. Rain check, Mary. Oh. Well, here we are. Oh, Is everybody ready for Monopoly? <laughs> Couldn't be. Look, do you want a Bloody Mary with that? A Bloody Mary? A Bloody Mary? Kathy, you know how I feel about that expression. How can you? I'm not staying for lunch. I'm sorry, but I really have to go now. I'm not. I'm not staying. Goodbye, Kathy. A bloody Mary. I mean a real celebration. Now, I've got everything planned, okay? I've got M&Ms. I've got chocolate-covered bananas. I've got balloons. You know, it is really funny to think of all the time I wasted being jealous of her when you're the one who should have been jealous because of her overwhelming attraction to me. But Tip may just possibly be, no. Yes, I'm gonna say it, bisexual. There, I said it. She just may possibly be bisexual, you know, ACBC. Uh, well, surely the same things happen to you. Uh, me, Mary, never. Never. Wanda, I swear on this, on this FDA report that this is an area in which I have no experience. Oh, Mary. Mary, it's not that unusual. Having sex with a member of the same sex is very sophisticated. It was very big in the 30s. Now here are some scenes from the next episodes of Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman. What kind of experience did you have in mind? None. Absolutely none. But I warn you, Merle, I, I'm not going to be used as a front for your amorous activities with other women. You're looking good, River. You look very fetching. It's going to get so much worse, Mother. I need so much help. What I've been thinking about lately is being bisexual. Sex on a quilt. Oh, my baby boy done gone and left me all alone on the dad's room floor. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God, in the presence of this company, to join this couple in the bonds of holy matrimony. Oh, uh, excuse me, Your Honor. Juan and I aren't getting married. Oh. I'm terribly sorry. You know, that's the way things go nowadays. Anything goes. <laughs> Where's the groom? Oh. See, I knew something was missing. <laughs> <laughs>